Welcome to Folsom Lake Hikes. I'm Kevin Canals. Today we're going to be going from Rattlesnake Bar up to Avery's Pond. The hike from the Rattlesnake Bar up to Avery's Pond and the PG&E Newcastle Powerhouse is about three and a half miles round trip. The first part right at the boat ramp is a little steep, but then it levels out and it's easy walking for the most part. Rattlesnake Bar was a thriving gold mining town back in the 1850s until it burned down. There was the famous Rattlesnake Bar Bridge or Gwynn's Bridge that went across the North Fork of the American River right in about this approximate location that connected Placer County with El Dorado County and was a lifeline between Auburn and over to Cool and the other gold mines in the area. The trail up the Avery's Pond begins right at the boat ramp at Rattlesnake Bar. It'll be on to your left side. You'll see it and you just start walking on it. The first part is a little steep once you get up the hill. Then it'll flatten out. The trail is single track, so it's not as wide as that Beals Point to Granite Bay Trail. There's a couple different trails out here going to Avery's Pond from Rattlesnake Bar. If you ever get lost, you know, look for these mile markers. That means you're on the Pioneer Express Trail and you're on the right track. You might notice a big ditch next to the boat ramp at Rattlesnake Bar. That is the North Fork Ditch which was built in 1855 to deliver water all the way down to Beals Bar and all the way down to the American River. Abandoned in the 1950s when Folsom Dam was created, it was no longer needed. I can't help but think when standing on some of these knolls that overlook now Folsom Lake, but at the time it was the North Fork of the American River, all the other people who stood up here, Native Americans, miners, people from other countries, looking at essentially the same landscape as I am and you are today. One of the trails will actually take you through the North Fork Ditch. You can see the large berms on either side. And so you'd be walking where water was flowing for over a hundred years. Yeah, there are many hazards out here on the trail. One of them you wouldn't think, but this poison oak hanging over. So make sure you watch your, watch your head, watch your hat. All along the trail, you'll get wonderful views of Folsom Lake. And if the lake is low enough, maybe the river will be running free. And occasionally you'll come to a bridge that the Parks Department, Folsom State Recreation Area, has put up to cross a steep ravine. Horses use this bridge as well, so you may have to wait for them to pass. This bridge actually crosses the North Fork Ditch as it's coming out of Avery's Pond. Once you cross this last bridge, you're almost there. Avery's Pond was a mud settling pond on the North Fork Ditch. Water came in and just kind of sat here and let the mud settle out before it continued on south because this was actually drinking water for many people. Well, you made it to Avery's Pond, but you can go a little bit further and check out Mormon Ravine and the Newcastle Powerhouse. Before there were families frolicking at Folsom Lake. Before there were the gold miners tearing up the riverbed in search of placer gold. There were Native Americans. 
these bedrock mortars, Native American grinding holes, are here at Avery's Pond, if you know where to find them, and remind us that there was a whole culture before we arrived, and they would use these Native American grinding holes to crush acorns, buckeyes, other grains into mush, porridge, cakes that they would cook and bake. Subsistence, survival, right here on the American River, now Folsom Lake. North of Avery's Pond and more Native American grinding holes is Mormon Ravine, which is a creek that flows into, used to be the American River, now Folsom Lake, but is also the site of the PG&E Newcastle Powerhouse that distributes water through a pinstock, drives some generators, and creates electricity. Let's go see that. Sounds like it's running right now. The Newcastle power plant discharging water from the turbine. It we jumps into it. We continue down this road. Does it wrap back around to um, Rattlesnake? Which road? This one right here. Oh no, this goes up to Auburn. This goes up to Auburn? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. And the powerhouse is putting out water. This is the outlet into Mormon Ravine. It is receiving this water from the South Main Canal up above. And there is the power plant, and the pin stock comes right down into it from. up on top of the hill. Mormon Ravine. bridge over Mormon's Ravine. You see, even though there's a lot of water going down the Newcastle power plant pinstock, there's still a lot of water coming down Mormon Ravine, which is fed by, I believe it's called the South Main Canal. So all that water getting dumped into Folsom Lake. There is an informational kiosk on the North Fork Ditch and the Newcastle PG&E powerhouse on the trail. And it is right at the location where the North Fork Ditch had a large flume that went over the Mormon Ravine, Mormon's Ravine, to the other side. It was wooden structure, it looked like a, just a big bridge. Of course, that was all torn down with Folsom Lake and most of the remnants were destroyed when PG&E built their new powerhouse. I hope you've enjoyed this short video of the hike from Rattlesnake Bar up to Avery's Pond and the PG&E Newcastle Power Plant with some of the history that's along the North Fork Ditch on the hike. If you've enjoyed this, please share it with your friends. I'll see you out on the trail. And for Folsom Lake Hikes, I'm Kevin Knaus. Uh -huh.